One of the main connections between photography and plants is that they share the word photo, photo in photography and photosynthesis in how plants sequester light. The Sustainable Darkroom Garden is about trying to think of ways to make darkroom practices more sustainable, um, looking for ways to do research and teaching out of a garden which allows for not being environmentally destructive. I run a project called Earth Politics, which we started quite a few years ago, probably six or seven years ago. And that project talks about sustainability and the earth in a very broad level. But then we started teaching it as part of the materiality project in third year, uh, where the students are exposed to a wide variety of materials. And then, of course, in our postgraduate program, Vanessa has really pioneered this in her master's research. So when I harvest part of the garden, I will only take 10% of a plant. We then use that plant in a very particular way with non-toxic household chemistry in order to activate and release the phenols which are embedded in the plant material. And with that leftover liquid, we are able to develop photographic analog papers. It's quite a magical process. I'm working with cameraless photographs, so I'm working with the plant physically touching the photographic paper, but that residue and the developer that the plant has made can be used in order to process photographic film and traditional photographic paper. Working with types means I take pigments from plants, mix it with like distilled water or alcohol, and putting it onto paper and exposing it to light to create images. So that's what I'm doing for my self-motivated project in third year. In second year, we, we were taken to the garden in order to plant speckboom, and we were also, we've also planted the first orange tree. So I was very involved with that in uh, my second year. I've always considered like photography interesting in, on its own, but I think working with natural matter to produce images in like a very unexpected way is interesting on its own. And I feel like it's something that can be taken further, especially in terms of like experimentation and like documenting it to help others explore the same processes. So each year we get a new batch of students who uh, help us in the garden. A lot of them have never even touched earth. They've never even been in a garden. They've never planted anything, um, which shows quite a disconnect between the student and the earth. And we were trying to get them engaged in that. If people and students specifically felt connected to earth and felt that in that little gesture of care they were making a difference, which they can see in how that garden has thrived and how that space has changed, it's a space where they want to go and have lunch, it's important for me that people feel hopeful about making change. So the project continues to grow, the garden continues to grow, and as that garden grows, we learn and have more knowledge, and so the information, the context, are not everything grows together with that garden.